let's take a look at the second floor at Jack and Ruth's, and we're going to have a few more questions in the email uh, to cover, and then I'm also going to give just a tour of Ruth's closet um, in this video. So we're starting, we're going to start here at Jack's closet, where we're creating a new opening at uh, through that wall. And as we pass through that opening, we're going to come into the what's now the existing closet uh, there, but we're um, making it a pass through with a tall boy on each side. So you have one on um, the north side and the south side of this little pass through vestibule now, where we pass through into um, the new opening into Ruth's closet, where we have <clears throat> against the window, we have a desk with a piece of furniture there that you can um, sit at also to change your clothes or just sit and relax at the desk. Um, we've got open shelving to one side of the desk and then uh, we've got lights flanking um, the walls on that desk. And then moving around the room, we start to get into, let's look at the island first actually. We've got an island in the middle of the room with drawers on uh, both sides of that island. And then we get into the hanging space. And I will put a comparison uh, for the amount of hanging space that you have in there. But basically, you have, I think, quadruple the amount of double hanging space and about the same amount now of single hanging space, about uh, 42 inches of single hanging space. And we reduced that a little bit for this new corner storage uh, element, which I really like. It makes really efficient use of your corner space. But we basically have these open shelves and we needed to make this a little bigger just to make it functional to get things in uh, and out of this shelf area and not have it just be <clears throat> totally um, too tight to get things in and out of there. Um, underneath the single hanging space we've got some storage box storage down below just to make use, use of that space and around all of this closet storage area I like to put a little uh, this little floor shelf and that just makes it so dirt can't get underneath um, where all your clothes are hanging and where you're storing things. It just gives a little um, dirt break to make it easier to clean um, and just brings that up off the floor a little bit. So that's something I like to do uh, in, in closets just to uh, keep all that dirt from shuffling underneath where you, where you store the clothes. So then we move into this spot. We've got another uh, spot of double hanging and then moving over to the, the wall where the door is, we've got our ironing board area that's gonna fold out. And so this is the piece of hardware that we've ordered for Ruth to try out. I'm really hoping you like using this for ironing <laughs> because um, that will really make, uh, we wanna make sure that works for you closing out the design of this. So this is what that cabinet will look like, opening up that door having that uh, uh, ironing board fold out and having all your, your plug and all your ironing equipment uh, right, right there as well. Okay, moving over to the last wall, our uh, shoe storage. So we've got a, um, a storage cabinet over here that's 12 inches deep with glass doors. So you can see in there and, and see all the shoes. Um, I, think, I think we should talk about lighting if we want this uh, LED lit so it will light up and you can see all the shoes inside. Um, I'll add that as a question. Um, I think you'll get plenty of light in there just from the room because these are all glass doors to be able to see your shoes, but it's more if you want them to kind of like show them off uh, when, when you're looking at them, have, have them bling a little bit, I guess. Um, okay, so that's the, that's Ruth's uh, closet. And while we're up here on the second floor, I wanted to scoot down here and cover one question that came up um, from Jack when uh, Ruth and Cora were going over finishes, and that's this media cabinet. Right now, I am just showing the existing cabinet, and we're just demoing two of the shelves, and it's a 12-inch deep cabinet, which I think is plenty for your flat-screen TV to fit into that, just right with what's existing there. And if we wanted to, we could even put some doors on these lower cabinets to hide any media equipment um, that would go in there. But the question came up from Jack, you know, do we want to just redo these cabinets completely and make them look um, a little different? They would blend, but do we want to make them come out a little bit more so you get some more storage? Um, so that is a good question um, that I'm going to put in the email. Do we like how it is existing? like this? Do we want to put doors on 
this to hide media stuff down below, which I think would be a pretty good idea. Just some kind of plain white doors to match what else is going on there. Um, or just keep it like it is open shelving. Let's look at the layout of that room. All right, so hopefully that um, gives us a good tour of um, the closet spaces. And um, we've done a video already on the washer dryer area right outside and we can jump over here to the master bedroom uh, real quick as well and just take another quick look at how that's laying out with the furniture and okay hopefully that uh, helps us get close to finalizing this design thanks